Today we reflect on the fifth glorious mystery of the Rosary, the coronation of Mary as Queen of Heaven and Earth. This mystery, we can link it to one of the Beatitudes. Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. As Mary enters heaven, a place of purity, a place of those who see God, the entire court of heaven greets with joy this masterpiece of God's creation. A woman who is chosen by God to be the mother of his only son, the mother who bears in her the good news, Jesus, the word, fle the word made flesh that dwelt with us. Mary is crowned by a divine son as queen of heaven and earth. More than we can ever know, the hearts of Jesus and Mary overflow with joy at this reunion. The mother meets the beloved son and there's great joy in heaven. Only in heaven, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, will we know the great majesty of that coronation and the joy it gave to the angels and saints. Even the angels who by nature are greater than humans hail Mary as their queen. Mary shares so fully in the glory of Christ because she shared so fully in his suffering. Only in heaven will we see how central the role of Mary in the divine plan of redemption. The angels and saints longed for the coming of her whose heel crushes the head of the serpent, the one who breaks the chains of sin and brings the redemption to the world, where the whole world was waiting for the coming of the Messiah. Mary becomes the one who gives birth to the Son of God. She is made the Queen of Heaven. And from the book of Revelation, we hear that a great sign appears in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun, the moon under her feet, on her head a crown of twelve stars. Mary, as the Queen of Heaven, is our mother, our queen, one who intercedes for us. Hence, when we pray the Hail Holy Queen, she is the mother of mercy, the mother of peace. There is that part in the Hail Holy Queen when we say, Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. We ask for an intercession as we present our life all its sweetness, and all our hopes, especially during this time of the virus, the global pandemic, we present our life, our hopes, and everything that we are encountering to her so that she may intercede for us as the Queen of Peace, as the Queen. May she lead us to heaven where we will be able to see God face to face, where we will be able to encounter Jesus and see him and rejoice with the Father through Christ our Lord.